Hello guys and welcome to my channel. I'm Omar Hamid and today I will show you how you can edit and modify the layout of your Word document. Layout contains margins, orientation, size, spacing, indent, and many other features. So let's jump into Word to see how we can edit its layout. I will show you on this Word file how you can change the layout of Word documents. So first of all, in order to change the layout, we go to the Layout tab here. And here you have different options to change the layout. I will cover the most important ones in this video. There are some features that are not used or are very minor. So I will avoid them because you will not benefit from them. So first of all, the margins. You can access the margins here and you can either use one of the present designs or present margins like the narrow the moderate, wide, mirrored, or you can even customize the margin. So you can change how much you want the spacing from the left, from the right, bottom, top, depending on how you want to use the document. So let's say, for example, I want the margins to be moderate. And you can see when it's moderate, the layout changes in all the documents. Second is the orientation. So you have the portrait orientation and the landscape. So let's check how the landscape orientation looks like. And you can see now the pages are more of horizontal than vertical. But I want to keep it portrait for now. The size is very important when you want to print out your Word document. So you have the letter, which is the default choice, but you can change it to tabloid, legal, statement, executive, A3, A4. So depending on which type of paper you want to print it, you can choose the size here. Let's just check the A3, for example. You can see that now it's more wide. And when you print it on A3 papers, it will look like this. Next is the columns. So if you apply the columns, for example, to this document, you will have three columns. And you can see it's now divided into three columns for all the document. Or even you can do it just for one page or one section depending on how you want to use this feature next is the breaks so let's say i'm in this page and i want the stadium to start a new page i can go to breaks and I can break the page there are other features like breaking the column so on a certain point i want the first column to finish and to start from the second column so I can use this there is text wrapping when you are using uh, text around objects like for example pictures uh, you have also section breaks like the next page for a section or uh, insert a section break and start the new section on the same page so different features but the most used ones are the page break column break and text wrapping so if we see the page break now the stadium subtitle starts on a new page and here the space stays blank we have also the line numbers so i don't find it very useful it's just to number the lines so we can either use continuous which will number all your document continuously you have for example to start each page so on each page it will start numbering from one and you have you start from each section but I don't want the line numbers to be present next is the hyphenation so the hyphenation can either be turned on or off by default it's off but what the hyphenation does is for example you are in a certain line and you are out of space in the middle of the world so it will hyphenate and continue the word on the next line like for example this one so all seater 
you can see that it's hyphenated and it continues on the next line so you can either keep it as none you can make it automatic manual also if you press on this arrow here for page setup you have some extra types of layout features so we talked about the margins we talked about the orientation you have the pages so uh, for the multiple pages they can be normal you can either have mirror margins you can have two pages per sheet book fold the reverse book fold so it's important when you want to print out the document to choose how you want them to look like and the paper there is the paper size we also talked about it we also have for the layout section start on new page for example for each section uh, section direction from left to right you have the headers and footers you can have different odd and even so how to uh, number the headers and footers different first page you can also select a different first page different from your cover you can even edit the size of the header and footer of your document and change its size maybe you want the header to be bigger and the footer to be smaller so you can change it the way you want to make your document look the best way possible so all these features are for the page layout and here we have for the paragraph we have the indent and we have the spacing so the indent is simply where does the paragraph start so it either starts as aligned with the all the paragraph or it can start uh, for example indented to the inside and let's see for example for this if we increase indention on the left it will move to the left side we can also increase the indention on the right side so it also customizes how the paragraphs look like the spacing shows the space before and after each paragraph so if there are paragraphs next to each other let's say these ones so we can increase the spacing between them because each line is considered the paragraph here and after them we can also edit it so after this one you can see now it's increasing and if we decrease it it will get closer to it in the after we can also check for the extra features here so the alignment you can align them either to the left side or right side and also the indention spacing we talked about line and page breaks so those are also included for the page setup they are the same for the paragraph or almost the same so you can also edit them to customize how the paragraph looks like now that you know how to edit the layout of your word document using many features it will let you control and customize the document in a much better way like and share this video and subscribe to my channel and tell me in the comments below if you want me to cover any topics in the future videos <laughs>